revolutionizing rail service. The LIRR are taking the first steps toward possibly introducing the first battery operated commuter commuter trains in North America. News Zoe's Logan Crawford has the details. LIRR officials say they want to see if they can eventually make all of their trains run on batteries. The idea at this point is to uh, find out how, m how many, how big, and where they will fit underneath the train car. So that, that's to be seen. Over the next eight months, the LIRR will conduct a study to see how far a battery-powered train can go, how fast, how long the battery would last, and where to put charging stations. LIRR President Phil Eng says the Oyster Bay, Port Jefferson, Ronkonkoma, and Montauk branches all still run diesel trains. Eng says the battery trains would not only be good for the environment, but will save money because adding a third electric rail to the diesel branches could cost billions of dollars. Lisa Daglin with the Permanent Citizens Advisory Committee to the MTA says battery trains could also cut down on transferring at Jamaica and other stations. Anything that is going to benefit the environment and benefit riders is something that we absolutely support. Then they would start test running empty trains here on the Oyster Bay branch. If all goes well, they could start running battery power trains with passengers on them as early as next year. Everything's going to be battery operated. How's that possible? You know? You'll believe it when you see it. True. The other diesel branches will be tested after Oyster Bay, which is the shortest trip to the city. The LIRR tells us the study on battery-powered trains will cost $860,000. In Oyster Bay, Logan Crawford, News 12 Long Island.